Hi everyone, today's case is a failing bridge. This patient is going to lose the bridge and therefore we have three choices. One is to replace the bridge. Two is to insert an implant in the space between the two teeth and so therefore each tooth will have its own crown. And third, the root canal is avoided and the tooth which is dead and infected will have to be extracted and therefore the patient would receive two implants and just crown the very last tooth. The patient chose to have the root canal on the one uh, dead or necrotic tooth and have just one implant in the middle which was a smart choice uh, as far as having single crowns instead of a bridge. If anything goes wrong with a bridge then you risk losing three teeth or a very costly bridge. The root canal is completed. This infection is achieved with a laser, the water lays, and ozone. And after the uh, root canal uh, paste is uh, introduced into the canal, uh, a bonded fiberglass post is used to build up an abutment over the uh, root canal tooth. And then we take a CBCT or a 3D scan to plan the implant. For this surgery, we are using the Z Systems kit. Of this implant is a Swiss manufactured implant. The implants are made out of zirconium dioxide as well as a lot of the burrs used for the osteotomy or preparing uh, the site for the implant. Now we use a pin to take an x-ray to see if we are in the right position and using the right angle and the right depth. We make the osteotomy larger with the zirconia burrs. This is what is called the countersink for the emergence or the neck of the implant. The implant is a gum level implant, it's not a bone level implant. After the countersink we use the tapping instrument which basically creates the threads for the future implant. Is that the implant? No. The tapper. Mm -hmm. Z Systems is a fully metal free ceramic implant and it is a system where the abutment is cemented into the gum level implant. We call it gum level, however, it can go anywhere between um, one and three millimeters from the bone as long as the biological width is preserved. And the implant is inserted with a torque of somewhere between 25 or 32 Newton centimeters. As we encounter some resistance and we exceed the torque, um, we 
unscrew the, Im the implant and in this case I'm tapping the uh, osteotomy a little more and reinserting the implant. I had the option of using a healing cap, but I don't like the idea of uh, the healing cap sticking out too far into the mouth, uh, especially in this case where we will be making a temporary acrylic bridge to protect the implant. The pontic of the bridge should not be touching the implant, but there should be some space uh, under the pontic so that the patient can uh, follow oral hygiene. In this case, after the gums completely healed in approximately four to six weeks, uh, we could already restore the adjacent teeth with single crowns. In f three to four months, the implant will be restored with its own crown. Okay. So, how did it go today? Excellent. Um, really minimal pain, hardly any. It was just one little, for a second, you know, I think it was a little pocket or something, but other than that, felt nothing and um, it feels good now and I think it went well. So basically you had a bridge before and uh, we took off the bridge. There was a lot of decay yes. under the uh, tooth in the front of the bridge and yes. uh, we didn't want to put a new bridge. So Because um, there wasn't enough do... support. Yeah, yeah. But you had good bone. Yeah. And uh, this was um, a very ideal position for a zirconia implant. Right. You know, it's a full metal-free implant. Yes. There are no uh, metal parts to it at all and uh, they're very biocompatible, so it went really well. Um, we did a little procedure with the gums uh, so that you, ha you would have more gum around the implant. And um, uh, uh, it's gonna heal with no problems. You're gonna take good care of your diet and yes. take care of the area, baby the area a little bit. Yes. And I see you have the patches which also help in pain. Yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully they will. We're gonna experiment with them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so a little salt water, then a little peroxide. Yeah. And um, see you in two weeks. Make sure everything is okay. A lot of vitamin C. Yes. Uh, vitamin D3. Anti-inflammatories. Enzymes. Yeah. Yeah. A little bromelain, a little MSM, maybe turmeric. You know. You know uh, your way around these supplements. A little right? bit, because, yeah. Uh, 30 years in the making, yeah. Where, where do you work? What's the store? Uh, Grassroots in? Natural Market and Kitchen in South Pasadena. It's been the 40 years. My wife and I uh, have been babying it for 30 years. So. Yeah. And you have a lot of supplements. And, uh, we have a lot of supplements. Organic foods, right? Yeah, yeah. a lot of organic food, cosmetics, and we have... Uh, a restaurant counter as well with great delicious food um, good place to be in three months we're going to prepare the area for the abutment which will be cemented in the implant and we will take an impression and make a crown over it in the meantime we already have the crowns for the adjacent teeth which were part of the bridge but now they're going to get single crowns mm. So if anything happens to any one of these, you're not going to lose a whole bridge again. Um, I think it's a much more efficient um, arrangement. And, um, but I think you should have your teeth all your life. Yeah. It went really well. Versus a bridge that lasts maybe 15, 20 years, if you're lucky. 
it's hard to clean under the bridges too right. and uh, yeah. know, nowadays with uh, implantology advanced so much and with uh, especially the metal free implants I think there's rarely any reason for putting bridges mm. And thank you for your support yeah. for us and your yeah. trust and yes. uh, being such a good patient. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, all right. I appreciate Perfect. it. Thank you. Yeah. Three months later, the zirconia implant has healed. And as we see, the gums around the implant are perfectly healthy and firm. Our next step is to clean the implant abutment site and cement the abutment we have to choose between a short a long and an angled abutment depending on the clearance with the opposing teeth the abutment is cemented after priming both surfaces with a zirconia primer we use a composite based cement uh, which is a dual cure cement um, Relyx Unisem or Panavia SA are good ones, but any one of those uh, in the same class can be used as well. Next, we sculpt the gums around the implant and give it shape and expose the margins before the impression is taken or a Cerex scan is made. We use the water lays I plus at the heart tissue setting at a higher frequency and lower energy setting. So this gives us a perfect cut with no charring at all. And as you see here, there's a nice funnel shape and emergence pattern. Prior to taking an impression, the abutment and the margins can be ground um, we use a fine red striped diamond burr. When we are prepping the zirconia abutment and the margins, we have to make sure that we use very gentle strokes and a lot of water. We also have to pay attention to putting some anti-rotation bevels. Uh, this could be done on the uh, facial aspect of the abutment tip or uh, an uneven uh, placement of uh, bevels uh, depending on the anatomy of the uh, margins and the gums. A PVC impression is taken in this case because we wanted to order a, a zirconia, a full zirconia crown, which is also cemented with a dual cure cement just like uh, we did the abutment, Relyx Unisem or Panavia SA.